Wow, just wow. You're not gonna wanna miss this video. This big smile on my face is because of these. Just check those out. So welcome to my review video of these stunning irons, Wilson Staff Model Blades, forged irons, the ultimate classic iron from Wilson. And boy, these look unbelievable. I'm still stuck for words. I've had these out of the box for about half an hour now, and I'm still just in awe, just looking at it. I daren't touch them. The fingerprints leaves, you know, marks that leaves on that high chrome finish it's it's just want to keep doing this all the time just to keep them sort of clean i don't even hit them these look absolutely stunning so new blade iron from wilson we've know the history of wilson with regards to blades um going back to i think 1954 they introduced the first real sort of blade iron to the market it's been massively popular last year we saw the um 100th anniversary of wilson as a golf brand um with the FG100 iron, I think it was, which looked absolutely stunning, but these are just a different level again. So the staff model irons. So what Wilson have done here is they've kept a little bit of the history in this iron. We've got that sort of fluted hosel there with those little nicks in that hose. We saw that in the very early models from Wilson irons, keeping that sort of classic sort of look there. That reminds me of my younger days, walking in the pro shop, seeing a set of the FG um, tours, I think they were on the, on the, on the shelf and they just looked amazing. And that's definitely the thing I remember is that little nicks around that sort of hosel there. We've got a sort of through bore uh, shaft there. You can see that black little circle at the bottom of the hosel. Again, you used to see that in a very uh, original sort of models there. The other classic trademark that we see on these irons are the little diamond pattern um, sort of nicks in, in, the, in the face, which are framing the heel and the toe section. These little markings here, definitely what you used to see in the traditional Wilson blade back many years ago, um, of just framing that heel and toe, very much gives it that classic sort of look. So fully forged iron, as you'd expect in this blade, it's very clean at the back, just that Wilson uh, staff badge on the back, staff model there, we've got Wilson logo on the back of the hosel, we've got forged stamp just on the sole, very th sort of thin sole, very sort of thin top line, very slim as you stick it down by the, uh, by the golf ball. So lucky enough to get a set of, I, a full set of these from a three iron all the way through to the wedge. So I'm probably gonna hit the three iron, the seven iron and the pitch and wedge in this video and give you some numbers of, of how they sort of perform. We've got GC quad on the floor as always um, and also give you real some feedback of, of these irons as I'm striking at the look, the playability in. Whether, you know, the, I've had a quick look at the three iron, it looks very scary. It's a very thin top line. So I'm a little bit nervous hitting that all Already, but um, I'm really I'm looking forward to sort of hitting these and seeing how these actually feel. To be honest, I don't really want to hit them They're that immaculate as they come out the, the out of the wrap. I just don't want to hit them. But obviously, I'm going to do that for you guys. Okay, so we're going to start off with the pitcher wedge first. Got myself set out at 135 from the flag, and this wedge is lofted in at 46 degrees. So as you'd expect from this type of club, more of a player's club, the lofts aren't strong. More traditional than the lofts. So the wedge is coming in at 46 degrees. And again, putting that down by the golf ball, that is just a beautiful shape. Obviously no offset at all there. Uh, lovely classic look, very nice rounded toe section, looks stunning behind the ball, can't wait to hit this. Ah, it feels beautiful. It feels really nice. Oh, the control that lands, that was pretty stone dead. 
Well, I think it's stone dead for me anyway. That's a gimme. I'll give myself that. Uh, that coming at, yeah, 9,200. That's spin number typically. Where would, where would see that number for a picture wedge? That's good. So we're seeing control here. Can fraction low in the face if I'm going to get really picky. Yeah, just drops a couple of yards carry, but nothing too severe. So as you probably appreciate, these are really aimed at a, a really good sort of ball strike who's consistently, you know, getting ball strike very central in the face. You know, typical blade iron. It's not built for forgiveness by any means, but really built for ultimate feel, control and playability. That feels fantastic. Feels unbelievable good. So what we're also seeing on these irons is milling on the actual club face. So we've got obviously the grooves going across, but we've then got some very tiny sort of circular milling around that club face. So again, that's all around trying to get more friction on that golf ball, ultimate sort of control spin and consistency of maybe spin numbers, especially maybe coming out of the rough helps just to try and get a little bit more predictability and save on sometimes those little flyers that we can sometimes get. Okay, that was a little bit bottom groovy, but again, it's flown fine. Probably just drop off a tiny bit there. Yeah, I just didn't quite make that full carry there. A little bit clean on that particular strike. Okay, let's move into the seven iron. So seven iron now, this is now lofted at 34 degrees. So again, tradition on those lofts, looking for that ultimate control. And again, it's just amazing. Look, I'm falling quietly in love with these. These look absolutely stunning. Everything desirable, bringing back sort of a lot of my memories when I was a kid. Look, as I mentioned before, looking in pro shops, these uh, the attritional blades sat on the rack. It, it brings back those memories through these clubs. Yeah, it's got that sort of little bit more of a modern sort of finish on it, um, just with the sort of badging and the logo in a little bit, but it's a lovely little contrast between the old and the new in a way. Okay, a little bit low in the face, but again, that's flighted absolutely fine. Sound is beautiful. Just lost that little bit of that right side. Let's catch on that right edge of the green. Definitely not the middle strike. And that's the thing with these types of irons, you're gonna know when you miss that middle. It's gonna give you that instant feedback of exactly where you've hit in that club face, where sometimes maybe game improvement irons, you miss that strike slightly. And because of the, the size, the head, the MOI in it, um, it's, you, you just, I'm not quite sure where you've actually hit it on the face. So in terms of getting ultimate uh, feedback of where you struck it, these types of irons definitely give that. That's amazing. Ah, oh, just so good. Feel amazing. Look to be a sort of decent carry number there. Bear in mind this is a 34 loft, so uh, is that spinning, yeah, around that sort of six and a half thousand there, which is a great spin number for a seven iron. Oh, that's me bad one. That's me pulley one. I'm trying to work hard on getting rid of that shot. It's not massive, but it's just that long left shot. Unfortunately, that is definitely me and not the clubs. Good, really nice. That's stunning. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more. And then we're gonna move into the three iron. That is a slither of metal. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Absolutely, I could hit that all day long. Might just cancel all my lessons this afternoon and just hit these all afternoon. <laughs> Beautiful, that was a nice straight golf shot. Okay, let's move into that three iron and once we've hit that, we'll go and check some numbers out. Right, so the three iron are bladed. Th okay, I can't stop uh, polishing these. Don't get any fingerprints on them. The bladed three iron, possibly one of the hardest clubs in golf to hit. And I tell you what, putting that down by the golf ball, that is small. That is a very slim, it very much again reminds me of the old style of blades, that real slim top edge, zero offset on that at all. And it looks pretty scary. I'm gonna be honest, it looks scary. But let's give this a hit. 
No, my ball striking is going to have to be on the money with this. Okay, that was a little bit toe. We've pushed that up that right hand side. Again, instant feedback of where I've hit that on the club face. That was a little bit of a nervy first one, if I'm being brutally honest. But again, the feel is astonishing. It feels superb. Oh, that was better. Oh, that is so good. It's piercing, but it's not massively low. Obviously, this is going to struggle to stop a little bit coming in with a three iron into the green, but um, that carried at 226. Probably got myself set a little bit too close to this green, to be honest. Uh, what did that spin at? That spun at just under 4,000 for three iron there. So that's uh, comparing with where the sort of seven iron was around, that's sort of six and a half mark. Again, we'll look at some numbers in a little bit more detail. That for a three iron is coming in a little bit higher spin, which is great. Uh, a great option to have in that longer iron. Oh, that's a low necky one, guy. You can feel that. <laughs> Wouldn't like that on a cold day. That's that short, right? Short. Yeah, this is where these are. Again, they're not designed to, are they? But they're just going to get no leeway whatsoever from that uh, strikes like that. And obviously, when you get into this longer iron, you do get much tougher to hit. Lovely. Yeah, feels amazing. Okay. I'm gonna have to do one more. Gonna have to do one more. Can't stop hitting these three iron. Even though it's as tough as this might be in this three iron. It's just the feel of these off the face is unbelievable. Ah, oh, that's the best one of it. Ah. Oh. Definitely leave it on that one now. Struck that great. Fantastic. What a set of golf clubs these are. I'm in love. I mean, I, as you, many of you know, I'm playing the, the Wilson V6-4s at the moment. I've had them in the bag for um, nearly sort of uh, 18 months, I think now. Uh, and I absolutely love those, but these are just a different grade. Very desirable, that blade club. Uh, definitely the V6 are more forgiving. You know, I've got that tungsten in the sole, a little bit of that cavity. Um, obviously not quite as thin on that top edge with a V6, but phew, they, they look great, don't they? Okay, let's go look at some numbers in a little bit more detail and see how these new Wilson Staff model irons are performing. Okay, so let's start with the pitching wedge first. So we've got the four shots I hit there with the pitching wedge. So ball speed 101, um, launch at 25, see so spin number around that nine and a half area, which is good. Um, obviously just my little changes of strikes there, just changing that subtly, but pretty consistent. There, and that was carrying around that sort of 130 mark, just in 129. Moving to the 7 iron, so obviously a lot of the club reviews test and do is with a 7 iron, so we've seen a ball speed of 123, so that's not massively slow. Um, considering this is 34 degree, it's a pure blade iron, that's not a slow uh, ball speed for me, so um, obviously I've struck that pretty well, I'm guessing, to get that average at 123, but that's not slow. I would have thought that would have been a bit slower than that. Launching at 18, spinning at 6,400. There again, you can just see my strikes just changing that a little bit uh, more than anything. Uh, carrying distance at 173. I'm really, I'll tell you what, I'm quite surprised at them, but I didn't think I'd be hitting those as far as that. So quite pleased with that, to be honest, considering again, it's a, it's a pure classic blade. Right, moving to this three iron, which was, whoa, serious bit of, uh, metal behind the golf ball so you see ball speed 137 and a half launching at that 12 degree mark spinning at 3900 so a good spin but seen a little bit more spin compare comparable to the iron number in the three iron maybe compared to that seven iron but that's not a bad thing that's a bit of stopping power hitting that long iron into that green you've got a little bit more chance of that control averaging that carry at 212 uh, but you can see obviously the drop offs there a little bit more greater with that three iron just purely because of the length of the club the less loft we always know it's a tougher to find that middle of the golf club then couple that with a pure blade behind the ball there's not a lot of leeway as i mentioned before so you see 141 down to sort of 135 point uh, uh sorry 134.9 again my strikes a couple of little iffy ones in there but you're going to expect that from that type of club in that three iron okay so there we have it guys probably one of the best feeling best looking set of irons i've tried for a long time they are absolutely stunning now 
spec wise what these are available in they're actually available uh three to pitch your edge but check this one out you can get a two iron in this it's a custom order only so you won't see any as a stock item maybe in in the shop floor but as a custom order to build they do offer a two iron <laughs> imagine it in a two iron in that that is bringing back a few memories of my ju uh, early junior days uh, so yeah two iron in that that'll you don't see many of the bladed options uh, for most brands nowadays offering a two iron so interesting one for those uh, or you guys out there who um, want to sort of pull on the old history uh, chains in a way of what you used to sort of do as a as a, as a younger golfer um yeah bladed two iron wow amazing one of the best irons i've hit as i said really impressed with those numbers are great the, the the sort of feel and the feedback through the club is just unbelievable a little bit of modern sort of tech through that mill grinding um through there obviously the grooves maybe a little bit deeper than possible what they have been post comments down below guys love to know your thoughts with this new staff model from uh wilson <sighs> yeah lost for words i'm just going to go home and um may just go and just sit and look at these for quite a few hours i think so thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do hit that subscribe button. Very much appreciated. It's because of you guys, the following that I've got, I've managed to get hold of these as quick as I have. So again, thanks to you guys for the support, the following. It's allowing me to get product early. Um, still trying my best with other brands, but that work is, is ongoing. But the more following I get, the more uh, views I'm getting, the better power I've got of getting hold of stuff like this to then bring videos out for you guys to watch. So appreciate you watching as always. Follow my social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.